Hi there, Mike Langsmith, All Seasons RV. Uh, today I'm going to be featuring the brand new 2016 Sonic. Uh, this model in particular is the 220 uh, VBH, which is a bunkhouse model. Uh, a little bit about Sonic, they are a, they're made by Venture RV, which is a division of KZ. Uh, KZ's been in the industry for 43 plus years. Uh, they have an outstanding track record. Um, one thing in particular, our service department loves uh, the Sonic brand and the Sport Treks made by Venture RV only because they rarely come back in service after a customer buys one, which is great news for me as well because I get less, you know, uh, bad phone calls from customers. Um, so just to start off, all Sonics uh, come in at weight-wise 4,500 and less, so they're really built and made for uh, mid-size mid mid SUVs and up. Um, so starting up the front, starting from the front, and I'll work my way around, and then I'll go inside and show you some features inside as well. Um, so this particular one we ordered with a power tongue jack, which uh, saves your arm from cranking up and down. Uh, you have 20-pound 20, 20 propane tanks and a spot in the back for your 12-volt battery. Um, you also get a diamond-plated rock guard up front, which saves the fiberglass while traveling down the road. You know, a little debris kicks up. You know, this will really save the, the body of the camper. Um, also, the roofing material is it's a fiberglass uh, roof starting from the front and goes all the way back um, with no seams. It's, it's a seamless roof, so less maintenance. Uh, you, you do not have to recondition this roof. Um, all you really have to do is check the seals along the side and the seals on the cutouts like the AC and, and vents. Um, also, if you notice the curve of it, it's very aerodynamic while traveling down the road, so it'll save on gas mileage. Um, up here in the storage store, you do get a great LED light uh, in the storage store, and LED light-wise, you get all LED lights inside and outside. Um, this is kind of a motorhome uh, feature right here. It's a slam latch door. It basically shuts itself um, instead of little... Uh, little locks that you have to mess with and, and they seize up after a while. Uh, it won't happen with this. Um, also might as well just go ahead and uh, talk about the frame a little bit. The frame is an S channel um, which looks like this. Uh, it is power coated and baked um, so it won't rust on you. Also the frame is not welded. It's put together with huck bolts. You can kind of see there the huck bolts which are these little guys. Um, basically what a huck bolt is it is a, it's a bolt and a rivet kind of in, in one. Um, they use huck bolts on uh, planes, trains, anything that deals with a lot of um, vibration. Because um, after a while, welds can break. <coughs> huck bolts, they don't loosen at all. Um, that's why they use them on trains. That deals with uh, high vibrations. Um, also, if you notice that this does come standard with four jacks, um, one on each corner. Um, they are manual, but I prefer that because, again, you know, if something goes wrong with the power jacks, it's not five, six hundred dollars that you have to replace a motor or anything like that. These, you just get a, a cordless drill with the socket <coughs> fitting, zap them down. It's really easy, hands free. Um, the body of this is fiberglass all the way around. Um, they also enclose and heat their water uh, holding tank. Um, so this is a really great three season coach. Early spring, late fall, you won't have an issue um, going that way. Another motorhome feature is they do have a lighted grab handle and a lighted step, blue LED lights right there. This does have the power awning and with this all the way out, they do have LED lights in the barrel of their awning which you can multi-direct. So you can face them all the way out, say at night, people are playing cornhole, you can light up the cornhole boards. Or you can uh, point the lights uh, back at the camper if you want to light up and play, play some cards or something like that. Um, they do have outdoor waterproof speakers, so you have indoor and outdoor speakers. <coughs> Wheel-wise, um, they do have a wide track axle, so they space the, the, the axles apart a little bit. Uh, this feature I really like because while traveling down the road, this will track better behind your vehicle. Uh, gives the camper a little bit better stability while towing. Um, you know, some, some campers, they, they're either one axle um, or, or the tires are really close together and you get a lot of sway and a lot of kick behind a vehicle. This won't happen with. Also, you do have easy lube axles, so these caps right here can pop off. 
couple squirts of uh, grace in there and you, your bearings are already packed. Um, also, you have uh, auto adjust brakes. Um, that is the most under maintenance thing on a camper are the brakes. Um, so while traveling down the road, they automatically adjust themselves. Um, you don't have to get them maintenance or, or keep you know, having issues. A lot of people can eventually get issues with their brakes while traveling down the road. Um, this, it's auto, auto adjust brakes, so you don't have to worry in the sense of maintenance on that either. Um, you do have a six gallon hot water heater. Let me open this bad guy up. You can kind of see what it looks like. That is a standard hot water heater. Um, it does work on gas and electric, and it is a DSI um, hot water heater. DSI is a direct spark ignition, so you don't have to come out here and light the pilot manually. Say it's raining or something, you need some hot water inside, you don't have to come out here in the rain and light the pilot. You can go inside and light it from inside. It's very easy. Um, and that's hot water here. Moving around to the back, you do get a full spare tire, no donut, um, which is just attached right there on the bumper. It, it does come standard with a black tank flush. Uh, if you do not know what a black tank flush is, uh, basically what it is, there's a little spray nozzle in a black tank. Um, you hook a garden hose to this. What's pressurized, that nozzle in the black tank will spray the black tank down and get most of that sediment all out because we all know that after a while, you know, sediment does build up in there and it's very hard to get that out. So this is a, a huge savior, save on the uh, black tank. Also, you have an out, outside shower with, with a spray nozzle um, and it has hot and cold. Um, great thing about this, if you go to the beach or it's really muddy in the campground, you can kind of spray off yourself before you know going in the camper itself. Um, another great feature that this does have is Zamp Solar. Um, what this can do, basically if you do a lot of dry camping or boondocking as they call it, um, you can hook a solar panel up to this and it will charge your 12 volt battery up front. So if you're running you know, lights, radio, anything like that, this will recharge your 12 volt battery up front so you don't have to hook it up to shoreline or keep hooking it up to your vehicle to charge at 12 volt. Also, this is pre-wired for a backup camera. Um, if you do want a backup camera, give me a call. Um, I can kind of go over the price and everything and, and install with you on that. Moving around to the side of the camper, we do have a storage door in the back under the bunk inside, which I will show you the inside of this. Um, great, great storage uh, for you know lawn chairs, um, um, coolers. I mean, really anything that you might need to take, uh, you know, pots, pans, things like that. And again, slam latch doors. Very easy, convenient to use. Uh, this is a 30 amp service. Um, and this is what I mean by shoreline. Uh, you just hook in, this is your 30, uh, 30 amp service. Uh, this red light means that you do have power coming in. If this red light is not on and no lights are on inside, that means that something at the power at the campground is out. Um, if this red light's on and you don't have any lights or anything happening inside, that means that it's the camper itself, not what you're plugging into at the campground. So let's go inside and I'll show you some more features about this, uh, this great camper.